This is the kickoff of one of my favorite times of year. We're in that period right in between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Thanksgiving's awesome because you get family around, you have some amazing food, and you get to watch some really good football. Or in my case, as a Jets fan, uh, didn't have to watch any football on Thanksgiving Day. We'll have that game here on Sunday. Well, I want to go ahead and kick off a series, a series of merry and bright. We're going to talk about some of the lessons that can be learned from some of the great Christmas movies that are out there. And I've got a couple of my own favorite. As you can see, I'm wearing a hockey jersey. The hockey jersey has double zeros for those who know. Uh, and I'm not a Blackhawks fan, so I wouldn't put a Chicago Blackhawks jersey on. I'm actually an Islander fan and a Coyote fan. Um, but you know how important the uh, Blackhawks are to Clark Griswold, which uh, is the leading uh, character in uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Three of my other favorite Christmas movies are Charlie Brown's Christmas, Elf, and A Christmas Story. You'll see artifacts from each of those as we go through this series. Now, I want to highlight a couple of things. One of the things I'm going to highlight as we go through this are some lessons that we can learn that apply to sales and apply to growing our business directly from each of these movies. I'll start with an easy one. You've heard me say this one before. In National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, there's that scene where you know, Clark is trying to light the lights and everybody's out front and there, some people have had a little bit too much to drink and he goes through the process of lighting the lights and the lights don't work. Well, ultimately, the grandfather says, I hope you all see what a uh, poor use of resources or waste of resources this was. Audrey, the granddaughter, looks up and says, well, Grandpa, you worked really hard on this. And he turns to her and says, yeah, so do washing machines. One of the things I take away from this is I don't want to be a washing machine. I don't want to be known as just someone who's working hard and not putting the right resources in the right place, moving toward the right things. So as you look at the work that you're doing, are you spending time doing the right things or are you simply a washing machine? Are you going through the motions? Are you doing something that could be done by something else or are you actually making an impact? Don't be a washing machine. I hope you stay tuned for the next 24, 25, heck, we might even do 30 of these as we go forward. I hope you stay with us throughout this journey and look forward to your comments and thoughts and let me know which stories I missed. Thank you.